Hey, what's up, and welcome to live.besttechie.net, the place where we talk tech, answer your tech questions, and of course, everything technology related. I'm sure all of you, if, if not like 99% of you, have at least a Twitter account, or if you don't have a Twitter account, you have a Facebook account. If you don't have a Facebook account, you probably have a MySpace, and if you don't have a MySpace, well, maybe you have a LinkedIn. But there's so many other networks out there, right? There's Twitter, MySpace, LinkedIn, then there's Facebook pages, then there's Google, uh, your Google status, your Google Talk status, then there's your AIM status, and so on and so forth. Tumblr, Blogger, you name it. There's just so many things out there you can update with a status. Like your status update or a micro blog or even a blog. Let's say you want to syndicate uh, a small blog post or even, you know, a larger one across Blogger, Tumblr, uh, you know, what have you. Uh, other blogging services out there. So how do you do that without having to do it individually, go to individual each site individually and update it uh, or use a client to update it individually on each site? Well, I have a solution. The solution is this. You go to ping.fm. Ping.fm. It's right up there in the topic. That's the website, ping.fm. That's the URL. You go there. And once you're on ping.fm, uh, you create an account, and all you do from here, and ping.fm is, is an amazing service, um, one that I never really looked at so much as, it, I use it as a tool to push my status updates um, across all the networks I'm a part of or that I like to be a part of. Uh, so I, I have ping.fm update my Twitter status, Facebook, Facebook page, uh, Facebook.com slash best techie that page and also Jeff Weisbein uh, my Google talk status my MySpace, my LinkedIn my friend feed my Jaiku and my Quippy and they could even do more than that it can do like it can do almost any social network out there that has status update ability it basically can update it for you you just have to sign uh, as long as you're a member and you can connect ping.fm to that specific site and you can update all of them at once now, the beauty of ping.fm is it doesn't just, you, you can set it to update all of them, sure, but it also has additional other features such as um, grouping, uh, you can even send images, uh, and a number of other things. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get into a few of those things um, and talk about them a little more in depth right now. So the first thing I mentioned was grouping, right? So let's say, for example, I wanted to update my Twitter, my Facebook and let's say my LinkedIn, but I didn't want to update my MySpace. I didn't want people on MySpace to see the latest best techie blog post, for example. I can create a group with just those three uh, services, and, and whenever I have it posted to that specific group, it only updates those, as opposed to updating all of them. So that's one thing. The next thing Ping FM does, and they just recently launched this, was they now do URL tracking. You know, there are a number of services out there like bit.ly, uh, bit.ly, uh, and Burst is another one that just came out on the scene, and Tiny URL, and, you know, there's so many out there. And they all, uh, I don't think Tiny URL does currently, actually. I don't think they track URLs, but bit.ly does. And basically, you know, you when you, when you shorten a URL, and you send it out on Twitter or Facebook or whatever, and you want to see who's clicking it, it tracks it, right? Up until recently, Ping FM didn't do that. They just they would shorten the link to with their own URL, but they didn't track how many clicks it was getting. So now you have the ability. It's an opt-in thing; doesn't do it automatically. So if you don't want it, it doesn't happen automatically. But when you sign up, you'll see it. Their latest blog post talks about, it, and you can opt in to have it track your URLs. So I've done that. And that's pretty. And I like to see if my links are getting clicked on. I mean, it's good to know, right? And where they're coming from. It also talks about the referrals. Uh, and all that other type of stuff that's going on, unique visits, visit, you know, how many people clicked it and stuff like that. So that's good. The next thing Ping FM allows you to do is you can even post photos. Now they assign you a, when you sign up, they assign you a special email address uh, that you can post. That you can send either a, a, a status update to via uh, an email. If you send an email to that thing and you, and you have your status update in it, in the body, it will update it. The same thing applies for this photo thing you can send a photo to this email address that they provide you and it will post the photo uh, through ping FM onto your, all your accounts now they also they also there are also many applications out there 
uh, Tweety on the iPhone, not on the Mac yet, but on the iPhone, has the ability to work with Ping FM directly, and you can set it up with your Ping FM key that they provide to you. That's at Ping FM, Ping.fm slash key. They'll provide you with a key, and you can, and that's a password, so don't give that out to anyone. It's very secret. Keep that and copy and paste it into the Tweety settings and so on. And there are many other applications that they list on their website that you can go once you're in the dashboard. And let me just actually let me show you this because it's hard to. I don't want to explain this and you guys can't see what I'm talking about. So let me just go to my desktop really quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So just give me one second. I should be able to see my desktop now. And if I scroll in, you'll see what I was talking about. Here are here's my dashboard. And right here, here's my Twitter, my Facebook, my Facebook pages, Google Talk statuses, MySpace, LinkedIn, FriendFeed, Jaiku, Quippy. That's what I mentioned. Now, I say click Add More Networks. And you can see all the networks here. Flickr, Yammer, if you have a Yammer account, Tumblr, Plurk, Aim Status, uh, BrightKai, Blogger, Plaxo, Bebo, High Five, Mashable, WordPress.com. You can do custom URLs if you have your own little one you have set up where you want to post status updates. There's just so many here. That you can use, so that they're 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 very uh, they they really have teamed up and created uh, the ability to post on a number of services. But as I mentioned, there are a number of services and tools you can use to eat, as I said eat, to send status updates and messages. You can do it through email, SMS, AOL, and some messenger, Gtalk or Jabber, Yahoo. There there are some plugins for certain applications. There's even an iGoogle gadget that you can put on your iGoogle homepage. There's an iPhone web app. There's also a regular mobile app. Uh, there's a toolbar that they have. And here are some featured apps. Tweety, as I mentioned, Pinkfire is another one. Some of these are browser add-ons. Some of these are just full-on apps uh, that that integrate the Ping FM abilities. Uh, so there's so many out there, and I recommend you check out a, a few of them, see which one you like the best, uh, which one works for you. Now, as I mentioned, really quick, they just started doing link stats. So if you're looking right here, all you have to do is click on this blog post. And if you go here, you can opt in. Uh, as I mentioned, you can opt in, and you will be able to um, turn on link stats. So basically, Ping FM is a great way um, to really manage all of your status updates. One website, so easy. And as, as I mentioned, you can they they I before I have to mention this. They 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 classify their status updates into status updates microblogs and of course blogging so let me let me just show you really quick uh, no actually let me do this I'm just gonna explain it basically if you want to just do a status update and you just and you're talking about status updates because of course sometimes a status update is like I uh, Jeff is writing an email right and I'll well, just for example but that may not apply yeah, on certain networks there is not always like Facebook remove the is and my name's not always there or, or Twitter it would look weird is writing an email like what well, what does that mean so you might uh, there's different ways and you can do at um, at s which would be the status update at M would be a micro blog and you can um, would only post to the social networks that have micro blogging enabled and at B would be blogging and there and there's a whole bunch of there's a lot of techniques and things you can do. I'm going to post more details in the blog post because it's hard to explain and go over it like this unless you actually can see it and visualize it. So I'm going to post the details about for that. But it's very, it's a very, very simple yet complex service at the same time because it has so much functionality that you just never really know exists if you just use it to post status updates. But it can do a lot. So I'm going to fill in the information on the blog post and everyone I recommend you check this out it's a great great service ping.fm makes your life so much easier for updating your statuses across multiple networks at least it makes my life easier anyway thanks for watching this has been live.besttaken.net and until next time we'll see you and remember remember take care of your computers